economics are dull. Although we have been told this to be a falsehood our entire lives, accepting it is essential for survival. War, poverty, and revolution all depend on economics, which is based on a crucial idea. Money is the ultimate motivator of human activity at its worst and best. Whether we like it or not, money determines our social status and subverts our morality. Some people will sometimes spend their entire lives in search of these rectangular pieces of paper, and some of them are even willing to kill. However, are we approaching the end of money as we know it? Will we have to convert every last penny we have into digital binary, or should I say cryptocurrencies, by burning our euros, dollars, and pawns? Is the future of money really the new objective? Other than gambling? Calamity for your finances if you've been pondering these issues, you are not alone. Hello and welcome to Z, I have a story to tell you. What money is doing for digital currency it is transforming transactions and doing away with banking. Cryptocurrencies are always in the headlines, there are record-breaking price increases every other day, and your co-workers can't stop talking about them. Not a week goes by that they do not. Your pals want you to make an investment. How do you balance the benefits and drawbacks? The issue is that you don't know where you're investing your money. The majority of us lack knowledge of money and its managing, which is a life skill. Beyond the basics of computing, we were not taught anything in school about money, therefore today we will attempt to comprehend it. If you are concerned that we will get too technical, do not be. Let's start with comprehension as it is all in simple English. Three fundamental ideas cryptocurrency, blockchain, and Bitcoin exactly what they imply here are a few brief explanations. As with the name of one sort of currency, the euro, Bitcoin is the best known cryptocurrency. It is digital, decentralized, existing solely as computer code, and it is the first cryptocurrency. Explain in a moment. For the time being, the second definition of cryptocurrency is that it functions as a means of exchange for Bitcoin, much like bills and coins do for dollars and pounds. Data encryption, or crypto, basically guarantees the security of transactions. As you may have heard, having your messages encrypted makes them secure. Cryptocurrency also uses encryption to protect its data, but unlike debit and credit cards, it is the only form in which it is available. Blockchain is the third definition. It is the technology that makes cryptocurrencies possible. Consider it similar to a computer file that saves data, but one that is shared among a large number of machines and is not specific to Bitcoin. Simply said, this is everything we don't understand about money paired with everything we don't understand about technology. Crypto blockchain has many many uses, and this is only one of them. Now, if you do not understand it, do not lose your mind, the majority of people do not. And studies have revealed that barely 1 in 10 and 1 in 3 people are aware of how Bitcoins operate. Cryptocurrency investors themselves know very little to nothing about it. For example, no one even knows who created Bitcoin. It has been in use since 2009, but the identity of its creator or creators is still unknown. Over the years, many people have claimed to be or have used the name Nakamoto, but it is still unclear whether it is one person or a group of people. However, what Nakamoto did was address a possible problem with digital banking called double spending. Let me give an example. If someone spends $10 on a sandwich, for instance, they cannot spend that same amount of money elsewhere. However, when the same amount is paid digitally, some people can manipulate systems and spend the same $10 more than once, which is known as double spending. Banks and credit card firms serve as middlemen, attesting to your transactions and demonstrating that you have actually paid for something while also keeping a portion of the money you spend. Enter Bitcoin, 
which addresses both of these tricky issues. Since it is decentralized, as I previously stated, and is governed by its own community of users, who all record all of their transactions simultaneously, any attempts to deceive the Bitcoin community should ideally be discovered. No one user, government, bank, or credit card company may put a fee on your payment or influence its flow, and the payment will be refused. Additionally, Bitcoin is claimed to be immune from the impacts of inflation and currency depreciation, which sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Well, Bitcoin is not without issues. Transactions are irreversible, so once you pay, there is no way to get your money back. Additionally, the value of Bitcoin is also constantly fluctuating due to its high volatility. One Bitcoin was worth 63,000 US dollars on April 14th. On April 23rd, it fell below 50,000. Why does this happen? Well, like everything else, the price of Bitcoin is determined by supply and demand. As demand rises, prices rise. As people see prices rising, they feel the urge to profit. As a result, they try to sell their own Bitcoin. This prompts more people to want to sell. However, occasionally there are not enough buyers. As a result, they lower their price, and so on, like a roller coaster. Therefore, volatility is the first issue, and security is the second. We all know how susceptible the digital wallets storing Bitcoin are stored on phones and laptops. 2016 saw two instances of theft and hacking. If you have a significant amount of money invested in Bitcoin, create passwords that are difficult to guess and refrain from visiting those strange and suspicious websites. A Los Angeles hospital ended up spending $17,000 on illegal transactions after hackers took over its computers for more than a week. The question of how many cryptocurrencies there are arises because the same regulations apply to all of them. For thousand plus there are more than 4,000 cryptocurrencies in existence worldwide. Why are there so many of them? The main software required to create a crypto is open source, which essentially allows anyone to create one. Examples include Litecoin, Namecoin, Peercoin, Gridcoin, Ripple Prime Coin, Order Mazer Coin Stellar, and this Dogecoin. When two software developers created this cryptocurrency in 2013 as a joke, they used the image of a dog. Their intention was to make fun of how people would invest in anything, and guess what? People did exactly that. Due to the usage of hashtags and social media posts by Dogecoin enthusiasts, the market valuation of the cryptocurrency reached more than $50 billion on April 20th. This made it more valuable than Ford and Marriott. This episode is both humorous and fascinating because it illustrates the times we live in, in which online advertisements can have an unexpectedly significant impact on the market. Dogecoin is worth $50 billion because people think it is worth $50 billion. You know what they said about? In an age where parity may become a valuable asset, the strength of your beliefs may have been the cause. Similar circumstances apply to Bitcoin which is valuable because people concur that it is valuable. Consider how much these $1,000 shoes that have been stained with human blood are worth. Why did its maker, who, by the way, had a perfect right, believe that someone would pay $1,000 for such shoes? Since there are no more of these shoes available, what does this indicate that the great majority of those who invest in cryptocurrencies are merely doing it in response to the hype about governments? These nations accept cryptocurrencies. The UK is developing a project called the Bitcoin, but Russia does not accept cryptocurrencies. China reacted harshly to it, but then changed its stance, now referring to it as an alternative investment. Although cryptocurrencies are not recognized as legal tender in India, some people nonetheless choose to invest in them because their peers do. The basic line is that digital currency is the way of the future. There is no question, but if you invest, you must understand that you are also gambling, and if you are willing to bet, you must also be willing to win or lose. For more information about cryptocurrencies, like and subscribe.